A busy St. John's County intersection has been causing worry for parents for years. Now a project to make that intersection safer is being put on the fast track. US 1 and Ray Road is just blocks from Nice High School. There have been several accidents in recent years at this location. That includes one in October that severely injured 17-year-old Mackenzie Felmet and her 15-year-old sister Sydney as they were leaving school. Channel 4's Elizabeth Campbell is at that intersection live tonight showing us the progress. Elizabeth. Oh, well, Lindsay and Tark, behind me, you can see the exact intersection. You can also see traffic moving. This intersection stays very, very busy, but I also want you to take a closer look at what you can see on the ground. You can see small multicolored flags. Florida Department of Transportation confirms these flags are part of the project to put in a traffic light at this very busy and dangerous intersection. We kind of revert to it as a death trap because Every morning when I send my daughter off to school, I'm worried that she might get into an accident. Alexis McDaniel has seen or heard of one too many crashes at this busy intersection. It leads thousands of Nice High School students, including her daughter, to and from school. She says parents have wanted a traffic light here for years. Last year, the PTSO said we would take this on as an issue because so many parents were concerned. She's the president of the Nice High School Parent Teacher Student Organization and says they've been working hand in hand with county and state officials to bring a light to this intersection. FDOT says a traffic light project for that intersection would be expedited after an October crash that seriously hurt two students. The flags identify utilities like gas and electrical lines as workers prepare to map the light around those. Even seeing these small colored flags waving in the breeze is a bit relieving for McDaniel, knowing that traffic light will be here soon. So when I come by and I see the utility workers working, I get really excited because I'm like, yeah, somebody's doing something. So it makes me really happy as a parent, and I think that will help improve um, her safety when she gets to school. So as a parent, I'm going to be excited. And just during my story, there were cars waiting to turn at this intersection. I heard one slamming on their horn as cars were going by, so definitely makes parents nervous in this area. Now, as for the project, now they tell me that originally they were going to put a traffic arm for the light here, but they say now they're actually just going to put a concrete pole that's going to hang wires from that. They say that process is actually going to make it a lot faster and get the light put here sooner. They're hoping to have it here by the beginning of next school year. Reporting live from St. John's County, Elizabeth Campbell, Channel 4, the local station. Elizabeth, I'm curious, with the track record there at that intersection, what is the speeding limit out there? Have they at all made any uh, changes to that, maybe trying to lower it to have drivers slow down? Uh, well, Lindsay, I can tell you right in this area, the speed limit is 55 miles per hour during uh, school times. It goes down to 45, uh, but parents that I've talked to say that is still way too high and that when people are speeding, they're going 60, 65 miles per hour just blocks from a school. So they say they have asked officials, state and county, to also look into the possibility of lowering the speed limit. Of course, that's something that would take quite some time. All right, Elizabeth Campbell, thank you so much.